What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Grind Force Gaming. Nova here again with some more Street Fighter Duel content for you guys and today we are going to be doing another straightforward review on a fighter and that is the new Flame Faction fighter, Summer Yang. Should you build him? Okay, before we get into it, I just want to take a quick second here to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel, throw a like on the video, show us your support, helps motivate us to keep going and let us know that you are appreciating the videos that we're doing. So that being said, should you build Summer Yang? The answer is 100% yes. I mean, luckily for us in this case, we finally got a brand new Flame Faction fighter that's actually truly a Flame Faction fighter. This is just amazing. This is a faction that has been needing something. There's been something missing ever since the beginning, and Summer Yang is filling that role perfectly. We're basically getting like a small Elena added, but we're, we're also getting an Abel added here, okay? He's doing shielding, he's doing healing, He's going to be bolstering your flame team defense, and that is something that really needed to happen, okay? He's going to function as maybe even the best tank for the flame faction team. There's not really one that stands out, uh, but he's going to be making all of your team do better and have a much higher level of sustain. So let's hop in here really quickly. My nose itches. One second. Uh, let's just hop in here really quickly and take a look at his skills. Now, the one that I do want to really make a note of here is his C1. Okay, he is a support fighter, so of course he's got a great C1 skill. And here is where we see this uh, shielding and this healing coming into play, right? He's doing 800% of his defense as a shield on all allies. He's doing a little bit of healing based on HP, uh, and he's also healing the one with the lowest HP for you know a little bit more in addition to that. His fighting spirit is basically just a, a a boost to that skill, okay? It replaces it, it increases it as the base to 880%, as well as a higher level of healing. And as that gets increased and as you continue to level that up, it just gets better and better, okay? He's going to be helping your flame team live longer, do more damage, and receive some healing passively. So he's going to be a fire that you're really going to want to use for the flame faction tower specifically. He's going to help as just a C1 fighter in the regular story chapters as well, if you want to use him for that. Having some shielding come in on a C1 skill is great. Maybe you're using Able for a different skill, or maybe you're running multiple teams, so you want to have two shields come up on two different teams. Like You have that, you have that option now, and I think that he's an amazing fighter to use. And honestly, we're lucky that he is just a regular faction fighter because it's not going to be that hard to build him. He's going to be one that you have to build, though. Some of these C1 fighters, these support fighters, they don't need to be built that much because their skills are already realized just as they are. Their stats are irrelevant to them. However, in the case of Summer Yang, you do need to build him because his defense and his HP are the things, kind of like Elena, that are affecting the effectiveness of his skill. So you're going to want to build him. You're going to want to get some good gear on him. But he's going to be a mainstay you know, for a while, I think, in the Flame team. I don't know that they'll come out with anything better than this uh, that would actually still be true to the Flame Faction team. But I think he's an amazing fighter. I think he's definitely worth building. I'm going to be building him for sure. I've got him in my choice summon now. So I'll just slowly be working on him, getting him built up so I can continue to progress in the Flame Faction tower, keep getting those rewards. And I will also be using him in the story chapters as well. So there it is, guys. There is my straightforward review on him. I definitely think that you should build him, and I definitely think that you should subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, these videos are helping you guys out. Look forward to doing more of them, and we will see you guys uh, in the next video. Cheers.